Okay, here we go. 2017-18 Panini Donruss Optic Basketball. 12 box, case break, number one. These are our teams. Good luck, everybody. Brad, nobody uh, joined the filler, so I just gave you the 76ers. Thanks for your participation, sir. Priester's going NOLA, huh? Hmm. How long was he in Japan? Maybe he's just really good at hitting that gyro ball. He's over there for nine years. And he's been here for how long? God, it seems like forever. When did he come over? Like 2003? 2000? He's not too old. Dude, that is so long ago. You know, I'm fairly certain I've never seen Adrian Belfort play. Ever. Not once. Yeah, I know he's underrated. I know he's got great stats. He's like, uh, he's like Paul Goldschmidt. Except he's been doing it longer. Those are certainly Hall of Fame numbers.
That's a good topic. Who are all the active Hall of Fame players? Where are the guaranteed guys that are active right now that are going into the Hall of Fame? Beltre, Ichiro. Like, if they retired right now. Buster Posey, you think so? If he retires right now? Pujols. Has Trout done enough? What is this, his seventh year? Trout? Harrison Barnes to one ninety nine. John Collins, <clears throat> Grant Hill for who? The Pistons. Justin Jackson. All clear for takeoff. Zach Levine. Vine, one seventy five. Jordan Bell. Iggy, KD, Jared Allen, Red Dion Waiters, that's to 99, DJ Wilson, that's cool looking, Retro Series, Scotty Pippen, Nilos, Clippers, Simmons, Bryant, Semi, DeRozan, Rab, Giannis, oh my god, Solier's Giannis card is going crazy right now. Pujols, Beltray, Ichiro, Kershaw. King Felix? Hmm. I'd vote for him. Dwight Howard to 175. Lori. Gary Payton to 25. Our first auto, Gary Payton for the Bucks. Hmm. J. Rich. Hmm. I don't remember that. How did Gary Payton play for the Bucks? Holtz and bead to one ninety nine. Mm, bacon shack retro. I like this retro series a lot. Harry Giles, Kevin Durant. The champ is here. Swishful thinking. Come on. 
Yeah, I'll give it to him. It's kind of cool. Booker. Jalen Brown. All clear for takeoff. Good for box number one. Gary Payton. Cole Hamels? Vato? Norm Nixon. Russ. Robert Ori. Big shot, Bob. Glenn Rice. OG. The champ is here. Reggie Miller. That's to 175 for the Pacers. Gary Payton, Thunder. Dennis Smith Jr., Red. It's a nice card. Little top to bottom. Ten ninety nine. Ronde Hollis Jefferson Hollow. Bam. Ooh, that's cool looking. Is that number two? Seventy nine. D'Angelo Russell for the Nets.
I read he was looking really good. What happened? Swishful thinking, Kyle Lowry. Lonzo, the rookies. Justin Jackson for the Kings. Jimmy Mahan, Dream on Green. Mario Chalmers to one ninety nine. I don't know. I say yes on Felix. Did he throw a perfect game, bro? And he's not like some scrub that threw a perfect game. Look, if it, if Clayton Kershaw was not in the league, King, Felix Hernandez would have been undisputedly the best pitcher in baseball for at least five years. So you're the best player in baseball for half of your eligible call, Hall of Fame career. And you're good for the rest of it. <clears throat> I mean, who else even compares? Chris Sale, maybe? Max Scherzer? No. To Bumgarner. Sorry, Rob. Homer. He was very good in the playoffs. He's a good pitcher. Verlander was pretty good. Dominant for a while. John Lester? Who only has four top five, top four Cy Young finishes? Verlander? Out of the active pitchers, who has the most uh, top four Cy Young? Count them up. <clears throat> JoJo. Status. Man, there's something super bowed in here. Oh, it's backwards. Sterling Brown to 99. Milwaukee. Glenn Rice. I loved Glenn Rice. Batum. To 199. Russell Westbrook to seventy nine. Oh, it is to thirty nine. I'm sorry. I thought it said ninety nine. LeBron. Too much research? Come on. So let's just take the guys that uh, that we've had. That we've talked about. Max Scherzer. Verlander. Felix Hernandez. Clayton Kershaw. Who else? Robbie Cano definitely should be in. But he plays uh, second base, so. 
and then he went to Seattle. Kind of not a good thing for popularity. George Gervin. Verlander's got four top fours. <laughs> Six top fives. Well, if you're going to change it, then you have to go back and look at Felix for top fives. Bam! Rated rookie signature. Gold vinyl. Bam! For the Heat, Jimmy Mahan. Lonzo Ball. Brian Anderson to 175. Tamar DeRozan and TJ Leaf. DeRozan's to 49. <clears throat> So do you think Felix is a no? Or are you just saying that Verlander was better? No, Bartolo Colon can't go in. He was on the sauce. You can't go in if you're a fat guy on the sauce. It just doesn't work. It's like saying, all right, let's. Ryan Braun was really good. Let's put him in. He's not fat, but you know what I mean. Well, yeah, the last five or six years, uh, Verlander's had to save it a bit. That brings some of that energy home. Yeah, I mean, in terms of second baseman, you would think that Robinson Cano would have to go in, right? Who else is there? It's got to be Barry Bonds. If it's not Barry Bonds, then it's Roger Clemens. I mean, logically, the way that baseball thinks, it would be Mark McGuire because he apologized. He's back in baseball, but Barry Saunders is back, or Barry uh, Barry Bonds is back in baseball too, but he hasn't admitted or apologized for anything. <clears throat> Who's the first guy in, or who do I think should be the first guy in? Tobias Harris to thirty nine. Yeah, yeah, he would have. And the th and the crazy thing is, is the stuff that they were taking at the time probably wasn't even illegal per baseball. They would have tested him 
or they did test them. They're like, oh yeah, you're good. Nothing in there that we've banned. Tracy McGrady. Fultz. Wayne Selden Jr. for the Grizzlies. Base auto. Really? Von Rodriguez is crazy. I don't understand that, how that happened. Like, everyone knew that. They just ignored it. What's up, Andy? How many did he pitch in? I have no idea. Three? Easily, easily, Rob. He's the best of the generation. You could say Ken Griffey Jr., but honestly, you'd be wrong. It's Barry Bonds. Hands down, Barry Bonds. Roger Clemens was the pitcher. Sean Marion. Dude, that hair, though. When do you do that? The Matrix to 175. Larry Nance. Mark Burley in the Hall of Fame. <sighs> Maybe in a really weak class on like his third or fourth try. David West. Why, why do you have to play in the World Series or pitch in the World Series to be a Hall of Famer? Enos Cantor? Especially in baseball. I mean, it's not like basketball where there's freaking ten players. Five. If that matter. Six. But really five. Gold vinyl optic is a one of one. I am not one of those people, not because I knew that, but because I barely even remember the Phillies winning a World Series. Who's even on that team? Jimmy Rollins? Chase Utley?
to 49, De'Aaron Fox. For the Kings, Jimmy Mahan. Cliff Lee was pretty good. He reminds me of Max Scherzer. A guy that should get more credit for being really good than he does. DeMar DeRozan, gold, 2 out of 10. Hmm. Most Cy Youngs in the last 20 years. Hmm. I bet it's something weird that you wouldn't think of, like Arizona. Gary Payton. I think that uh, yeah, they have three straight of a hundred hundred losses. Kobe, hollow. The Andre Jordan. To one seventy five. Damien Dotson to seventy nine. Knicks. Hernan Gomez. Bam killed the case. What about this guy? He's pretty good. I know it's not a 101 gold vinyl, but it is the 49. So what's the answer? Do we know the answer? Cleveland has four. Cleveland is the answer. Most Cy Youngs in the last 20 years with four. Arizona also had four. Wow, I was right. Dodgers with four is at all Kershaw. Kershaw three times in the last 20 years. Who was the other one? Kershaw, I guess? Nah. It had to be longer than 20 years. God dang. <laughs> That's amazing. It's amazing how some of these guys come out of nowhere and just all year long go nuts.
Seth Curry, 199. Kuzma. Rodman. Clarkson. Sidarius Thornwell for the Clippers. Shy Sox. Like a entertainment wrestler or like a Greco Roman Olympic wrestler. No, I agree on the closer thing. You should never. Closer should never have a Cy Young. Didn't the. Uh, who was it? Britain? Weren't they, that was the last guy that was close as being a closer to having a, uh, a Cy Young. Jeff Curry to 175. Murray to 79 for the Spurs. David Robinson. Andre Iguodala. I just bought a David Robinson. Uh, Hoops rookie. Not the shorter print one, but the normal one. Well, I mean... <laughs> a lot of saves but you got to be in like a special position to get all those saves also none of which you control what's the most saves ever No, it used to be Bobby Thigpen. And then it got broke a couple times. I think, uh, what, K-Rod? Something like that. He broke it. And then somebody else broke it. Maybe Britain. K-Rod was 62. Did he win the Cy Young? Hmm. He was dominant, huh? Yeah, I think it would have to take something special like a 60 save season and a really down year for, across the board for pitchers. Yeah, 20 wins. They'll do it. <coughs> there you go. How about that question? How many 20 win pitchers have there been in the last 20 years? Can't be more than 10. Oh, 
It could be. I don't think it is. Is it a lot? Verlander had 20 wins five times. Okay. Eight. Verlander had it eight times, or there's eight people that did it? Surge. That uh, Jalen Brown was to 49. Ike, not numbered. <laughs> oh, there you go. The Eck. Way more than I thought. Larry Nance. Ferguson to 175. Red Paul Millsap to 99. Fox, Barry, Gio Gonzalez, Ian Kennedy, Brandon Webb, Dontrell Willis. Who is Russ Ortiz? I love the question mark, Shane. Ago and Randy Johnson still making that list. Zach Collins to 49 for the Trail Blazers. So they are 2K3. Big O. Frank. I still, my son was here and he was trying to help me pronounce his name and I still can't do it. Tilakina. Frank Tilakina. Justin Jackson. Norman Powell. Yeah, Brady Anderson it just pops up out of that nowhere. He's like, boom, I can hit 50 home runs now. By the way, I've never hit more than 25. Nobody look at that. Pay me. At what point do you think he was like, uh, this stuff's working a little too well? Think we should maybe dial it back a notch? Or is he just like, keep shooting me? Oh, I wanted to believe they were all clean. I just don't care. I don't think it should be part of the rules. Like, if you can lift weights, then you can put things in your body and you can do vision exercises and hand speed exercises. And you can 
take one thing, but you can't take another thing? I'm not down with that. Yeah, Sean Green. Ken Caminiti. God, what drug wasn't he on? I loved Ken Caminiti. I loved that guy. I hated third base, but I wanted to go play it because of Ken Caminiti. No wonder why I wasn't in for years. He ate up every game. Oh yeah, Brett Boone had that year. Uh-huh, you're right. Steroids, boom, MVP. Dude, people have always done things against the rules in sports. Tim Salmon was on the juice. And that, that ruins my opinion of him. I always just thought of him as like kind of a above average player. And he was just an above average player on the juice. That's uh he must have been really bad. I liked Tim Salmon. 199. Jalen Brown. I think we got the all clear for takeoff Jalen Brown case. Markel Fultz. The rookies. Hmm. That's true. What makes you think Matt Kep was clean? But that doesn't change the question. I don't see how it changes his career at all. Lori Markin to 175. Boom. Take her to 35. Buffalo Braves. Who's this go to? Bob McAdoo. Rated rookie signatures Josh Jackson for the Sun. Ravery. Carmelo Anthony. 79. Clippers. Thank you. So my wife texted me the other day. She was at yoga. <clears throat> I get this frantic text, text message about, oh my God, oh my God, nine million exclamation points. Apparently uh, she did yoga with Usher. Usher walked into the yoga studio. I was like, boom, I'm right behind you. I'm not sure. Got like three bad girls with him. They're all super stoned. <laughs> Waker. It's a 
It is a retro. <laughs> oh, that was kind of cool. No, nah, he totally did, man. Totally did. They brought in like the special yoga instructor and everything, and changed the whole class. My wife was like, what? Why are there so many people here? What's happening? He walked in like 10 minutes late. What's up, Sean? Yes. It's going well. We're doing basketball, so I'm a little bored. But other than that, I'm good. Asia. DeAndre Bembry to 99. Dwight Howard to 10 gold. Wow. They couldn't have cut that card any worse. Uh, Charlotte Hornets. Jimmy Mahan. Dude, Dwight Howard is jacked. Can you imagine if you saw Dwight Howard in real life? And he was angry at you? I think I'd just like throw something at him and run away. Donovan Mitchell hollow. Nice. Oh, we're going to call these silvers now? I thought they were hollows. Can we come up with one name and stick to them? Silver, hollow, prism. Dylan Brooks, rated rookie. Oh, well, thank you. I thought I was right. Larry Bird face. McGee. Not numbered. I feel like people are forgetting about Larry Bird lately. Shiny. Shiny variation. Anti Zizek to one seventy five. Seriously, do you have a game plan for when jacked Dwight Howard shows up in front of you angry? What are you gonna do? Shaquille O'Neal to one seventy five, Donovan Mitchell. Didn't challenge him to a dance off. He'll probably accept. He's a goofy dude. But he's angry, remember? Is that going to break his anger? He's going to start laughing? It might work. Don't click that link, anybody. It'll give your brain 
the hiv. Throw him a basketball, I hope he gets distracted. <laughs> I told you not to click it. I told you not to do it, man. Uh, <laughs> there's this new Woody the Woodpecker movie out for kids on Netflix. The kids watch it. And uh, Woody the Woodpecker joins the kids' band because the drummer's out. You know, I can like, peck like a drummer. And their song is, the bird is the word. I think about that all the time. It's pretty much an awful movie. I don't think that anyone should ever watch it. No, it just uses his beak. It just like bangs on the table and the cymbals. Obviously not the drums. You just poke hole through it. That'd be stupid. Why would you do that? Completely illogical. Norman Nixon. How come old guys in basketball suck, but old guys in baseball are awesome? Semi Ojale to 175. Alfonso Mc Kinney for the Raptors. Frank Tilakina. Oh, nailed it. Eric Bledsoe. I'm so proud of myself. It's probably still not right, but I felt good. Robert Ori to 175. Courtney Lee to 39 for the Knicks. Ooh, approval from Andrew. Nice, I like it. <laughs> That's a great answer, JoJo. <laughs> I'll, uh, Alonzo Morning. Hate these cards. Hate them. What am I supposed to do with all these things? <sighs> what a debacle. What an absolute train wreck. You got an asshole that walks around with his sunglasses everywhere and can't see what's on the floor. Rips the ligaments out of his knee. Ruins the best fight of the year. You got another asshole that shows up. Ruins the rest of the card. You sign a contract for a guy that's 20 pounds overweight and give him six days to cut it. You have a great champion, ex-champion fight. Well, Khabib versus ex-champion fight set up. You don't let him fight because he's point two over. So what do we get? Al Ayakinta versus Khabib. I went from buying that card to watching it pirated to not giving a shit about it.
And good old Connor's going to have to do something mighty damn spectacular to earn anything back. So, honestly, if I'm the UFC, I'm like, nah, dude, you're done. You're out. Contract is void. Go what, do whatever the hell you want. You're no longer part of our organization. You single-handedly destroyed an entire pay-per-view card. I don't know. Do you get do you get bleeped for saying Fook? Is that allowed? Brandon Ingram to forty nine. Who fucking cares? That's more like Austrian. I can't do an accent. If you could do one accent only, what would it be? I'd go with either British or Australian. Kobe. Sendarius Thornwell to 99. Is that a real thing, JoJo? The Undertaker? He's still alive? I thought Kane killed him and like buried him and stole his casket like 20 years ago. How's that guy still fighting? Jason Tatum? <laughs> I remember when I was a kid and I found out wrestling was fake. I was so mad. Derek White for the Spurs. Hello. He's only mostly dead. Gold! Kevin Durant for Rob Act 3. 10 out of 10. Must be present to claim it. The Undertaker? Dude was nuts. It's actually centered really well. It's a nice card. Except for Kevin Durant's on it. I don't know. I was always a Undertaker guy. Or not an Undertaker guy. Ultimate Warrior guy. I loved that dude. The 
The Undertaker was cool, though. How the hell did you guys get me talking about wrestling? Ah, oh, Connor. Who the fool cares? I don't remember that one. Ratty Ratty Piper. What about the... Who was, who was the guy that always followed around uh, Ted DiBiase? The million Dollar Man. Is that even impressive anymore? The million Dollar Man? Virgil. Yes. I didn't like Virgil. I just thought of him when I saw Roddy Roddy Piper. about the uh, bushwhacker guys? They're always entertaining. I wouldn't want to hang out with them. I think they probably smell pretty bad. What is this? Okay, moving on to the next promo. Uh, let's get our next two wrestlers in there. Coco, watch out. And oh, dude, you're going to get me banned. Don't do that. Dwight Howard. He always looks so happy to seventy nine. I guess it makes sense. He's a giant, muscly billionaire. And he gets to play basketball for his job. Kyle Kuzma to 175. Swish. Wishful thinking, Clay. Hmm. TJ Warren, orange to one ninety nine. Page at a 175. Giannis, not numbered. TJ Wilson, 49 out of 49. Dominator. Let's be those crazy tats on his bicep. Harry Giles, and that's it. Let's leave up these last couple. We'll do a recap.
Anybody want a bunch of base cards for like 10 bucks? I gotta ship them. If I... Obviously. I think it probably costs about 10 bucks to ship there. Alright, here we go. I'm just gonna flip through these. These are all of our uh, notable parallels. Lowestown, you want them? Howard Gold to ten. Yeah, I've got the uh, twenty eighteen Elite Draft football. If anybody wants to do some, I can try to figure something out. DJ Wilson, Alfonso McKinney, Gary Payton. Payton's to twenty five. 49 out of 49 on the Wilson, and uh, McKinney is not numbered. Derek White, Dylan Brooks, Josh Jackson, Zach Collins to 49, Sendarius Thornwell, Wayne Selden Bass, Justin Jackson, and then we had a couple good cards. Gold, Kevin Durant. 10 out of 10. Uh, De'Aaron Fox. To 49. And a gold vinyl 101 rated rookie signature of Bam. I'll try it. Adebayo. That's it on this one. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate it.